In Excel, you can select um, one cell, but you can also select several cells at a time to make them bold, for example. If I want to make these cells bold, I can select them and click the bold button. I can also do this when I select only one cell. So this is pretty obvious. Now, if I want to change the font of these cells and these cells, I need to select all these cells at the same time. As you can see, if I don't do anything, it's not going to work. What I need to do is select those cells, press Control, the Control key on your keyboard, and select these cells. And both of those partial columns are going to be selected. And now I can do all the modifications I wanted. Obviously, if you just want to make those um, those 36 uh, cells bold, you could have done it without the control key because it would be quite easy to just do this and then do this. But if you have several font modifications to make, then it would be very, very useful to select all these all the cells at the same time and then apply all the modifications only once. For example, you could just put the cells in bold italic. Um, strike through, change the fonts, uh, change the background color of the cell all at once. Um, and if you didn't do this, you would have had to select those cells, make all the modifications, then select all these cells and make all the modifications. Now you may want to select um, a whole column or a whole row. So, for example, I would I could maybe want to select those two columns and I would just have to click on the headers so here 11 or 12 or if you have A, B, C, D, E, F, G you would have to click on the letters corresponding to the column but basically it's going to select the whole column and you can apply your modifications uh, for example you could just make these um, columns black you can do the same with rows you can just click on the row number on the left and it's going to select the whole the whole row and you can just change uh, whatever you want to. Obviously the control button works as well if I want to select those first three columns and then um, let's say those three columns I would just have to use the control key. If you don't use the control key and you select those three columns and then those three columns well, obviously, you're going to lose the selection on those. And I could then uh, make them black as well. And lastly, you have the Shift key. So if you want to select all the rows between the 24th and the 40th row, you would click once on the 24th row, and then Shift, and then once on the 40th row. And it would select all the um, rows in between. Um, that would be quite useful if you want to select if you would want to select all the rows between um, the first row and the hundredth row without sliding because you could also do this and like slide across all these rows but it is a bit uh, more tedious to do so and then obviously you can apply whatever effect you want to um, for example you can remove any um, background color and obviously it would work and bonus, you could use the control plus A shortcut or the control plus asterisk shortcut. Basically, if you want to select uh, only these cells, which I guess would make sense, you would want to isolate maybe one of those two um, zones, you could click on whatever cell you want inside this zone and press control plus A or obviously control plus asterisk because those two are going to select the same uh, cells and then you can obviously make uh, the modifications you want to. If you want to select all the cells in the sheet you can press this little triangle uh, over there and it's going to select literally every cell uh, of the sheet uh, and you can obviously do whatever modification you want to. Uh, so this is uh, maybe quite counterintuitive because usually Control plus A does select everything, but here Control plus A is only going to select um, an, an isolated zone. So you have to be careful about that. If you do press Control A twice, it's going to it's going to select everything. Um, I guess this is not very useful because you have the little triangle button.